Okay, so basically this is the mid system. Six, five, four, For example, that for your load calculation, by the way, for your load calculation, what would be our objective? Right? Our objective is to represent this particular building into its Is 0.3 times 
with natin is 0.3, height natin, or thickness or height natin, is kalahati itong kumuhati nung kalahati nung third floor. So, 1.3. Ay, nakalimutan pala ako. N. Insert. So, bakit mga gano'n siya? Ay, wait na ito next. Kaya natin dito N. Basically, that is the number of units that we have. So, how many columns do we have? That is 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 28. 28 columns. So, the weight now is simply your volume. Volume times the number of units that you have times the density. Yeah. Okay? Next is beams. Sa so beams natin, meron tayong dalawang direction. You have your alphabetical and your numerical. Okay? So second floor, third floor. Ay, hindi yung designation ko. Sorry. That should be... Next is 
you have 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 10, 18, plus 4 is 20. Thickness is, um, tabi ko, 0 0.125. Okay. Of course, mayroon tatlas dun, no? okay, magkala lang, matanggal natin yan. 1. Okay? Density is 24. Ngayon, ang pag-compute natin, of course, is yung area mo na nung gross. Okay? Dalawang parenthesis. This one plus or times this one, right? And then minus, yeah, 9 by 7, okay? 9 by 7. Kung diskubiyan na pa sa isusulat mo, okay? Pagayin mo na lang yung operation, okay? Close parenthesis, okay? Next, times the thickness, times the number of units, times the density, then, okay? So that is the weight of your slab. Next, Punta naman tayo sa um, pag ito, ceiling, then you have NE, EE fixtures, yan yung electrical works, tapos mechanical works, MEE fixtures, okay, may pa, you also have tiles on mortar bed, kunyari may tiles to sort of deck natin, eh? tiles on Okay. Uh, some mortar bed. Okay. Maganda gawin natin dito is kung lang natin yung area. No need for the thickness. Yung density, ang kinalagay natin dito is the pressure room. Okay? Ang pressure load for ceiling is 0.24 kilopascal. Same is true with MEV, 0.24 kilopascal. Tiles on mortar bed, depende sa tiles, depende rin sa thickness ng mortar bed. But for uh, discussion purposes, let's just place here 1.1 kPa. Okay? Of course, the number of units, isa lang yan sa proof deck. Okay? Next, yung thickness, lagi na lang natin dito yung area. Yeah. Okay? Yung area natin is, what is that again? Ayan. Okay, ito to. Copy. Then, paste. Okay, so, okay. Sige na lang natin yung buong operation. So, that is 22 meters by 21 meters. Minus, what is that again? 7 by 9. Okay. Sige ko dun yung uh, ito, dollar sign para hindi na gumalap. Vertically. Then drag that down. And then we simply calculate for that is area times the number of units times the pressure load, enter. And then finally, last but not the least is your walls. Okay? The walls natin depende yan sa thickness. Okay? Kung mas makapal, of course, mas mabigat. Kung mas manipis, mas magaan. Okay? So what we want here is you to let, for example, gawa tayo ng isang layout. Okay?
is in kilonewton per square meter, ha? Yeah, that is kilonewton per square meter. And then for 5 inches, the increase of 2.63. 2.63. Kilonewtons per square meters. Okay. 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 Five inches. So, this is notation. Natin. Five inches is along, along A. Right? So, along A. Meron ko ba? That is along B. Next, meron ko ba? Along C. Wala na. Next, along the numerical grid system, you have along 6. Next is along 4. And then last is along 2. One. Right? Next, yung length natin. Yung length mo na kay A. As in si A. One. Ano na kahaba? That is 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5. How much? 4 plus 4, along A. Tapos hanggang doon lang siya, ang sub Okay? That is 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5. Okay? 18. Next, along D. That is the long span, 8. Next is along C. Ito si C. 10. Next, along 6. Ito si 6. Pagano, that is 4 plus 4 plus 6, 14. Next is along 4. Along 4, isang span lang, 6. Next, last is along 2, isang span lang. 2 is the long span, 8. Next, W, yun yung thickness natin, sila po ay Pero huwag din natin ilagay yan, kasi alam natin 5 inches. Next, the height. Height ng ating wall. Okay, so again, nandun tayo sa roof deck. Okay, basically, you are what? You are calculating for yung load nito. No? So, hato yan, yun yung taas. Okay, yan lang yung ating concern. Height is 1.5. Thank you. And then, simply drag that down. Next is N. Instead of N, nalagay ko dito area. Okay? Area. Area is equal to the length times the height. Okay? Enter. Drag that down. Next, the density is the load per square meter. That is 5 inches, that is 2.63. Enter, then drag that down, then you multiply the area to that loop per square meter. Then drag that down. Right? Any questions so far? And very good. Next, you go to 4 inches. Okay? Yung 4 inches, yung kubeta lang, at saka isang partition wall dun sa loob. So yung kubeta, that is, ang kubeta naman yung 4 meters, Huh? <laughs> Anyhow, just for discussion purposes, that one is along, yung pahiga mo na, along 5, five. tapos meron tayong along 4, along, along and then three. along 3. Mas mahabang sila kung naman yung 5 meters. Five meters. Baka kwarto naman yan. Talaw yung judge nyo yung tayo. Tapos, meron yung vertical, along B. B. 
Okay? So that one would be equal to I sorry. Lagi pala natin. So what na? So along 5, that is 4 meters. Next, 4 is 4 meters split. Tapos, eh, sorry. No, it's not 4. It's 8. Okay? It's a for the collection. Number 3 is 4 ulit. Tama? And then next is 4 plus 5 is 9. Yeah. Height is 1.5. Okay? Area, same process. Simply copy this one and then drag that down and you're done. Right? Okay? Yun yun. Okay, after which, tapos ka sa structural members, tapos ka sa attachments, tapos ka na rin sa walls, then you can now calculate for the weight. Oh, sorry, not yet. Go to your live load. Live load. Okay? So yung area, lagay natin yung area dyan, that is basically, compute natin kanina, ito yun. Okay? And then, yung live load na lalagay natin is 1.9. That is for residential live load. It is simply this one times this one. Okay? Ayan. Take the sum. Kung commercial yung sa inyo, commercial lang yung pan ha. Titignan dito sa NSCP kung anong klase ng live load. Take the sum. And then, simply highlight that one. Then you have the weight of the building, okay, including the live load. That is, is that is of course in the law, okay? Rough deck pa lang yan. So, para mabilis, ang trabaho, kasi copy-paste, copy-paste lang yan. I-edit lang natin ito. Uy, mukhang naabot tayo sa vertical shield. Copy, and then paste, okay? Edit natin ito ngayon, third floor. Okay? So, yung third floor natin, kung papansin ninyo, dalawa na yung klase ng B. Ay, ng columns. Columns na tayo. Okay? And then, nakikinis ka. So, yung third floor natin, meron siyang column na nanggaling dito, tapos meron din siyang column na galing dito. Yung galing sa upper part niya is basically, or has a dimension of 300 by 300. Sa so lower part niya, 350 by 350. So, dalawa yung enter natin doon. Next, other than that, yung beams din natin along the numerical and the alphabetical is the different. Wait. Okay. Yeah. So, we need to edit. So, yung columns muna tayo. Itagun na ako. Any questions on part? Same. 
Then, drag that down. Yan. Next, beam. Okay? Pareho lang yung mga sukat niyan. Ang papalitan lang natin is yung width at saka yung thickness. Okay? So, punta tayo sa third floor. Tapos, along numerical. Okay? Numerical natin is 250 by 450. So, papalitan natin yung 400 lang. 0.25 Okay? And drag that down Next Lipat sa kanila Alphabetical 250 by 500 So papalitan na lang ng 0.5 Then drag that down Slab The same lang yan Next Ceiling The same lang yan Okay? Kunyari para para yung units natin Sa tatlong palapag na yan Next Sa walls Pare-pareho Ang may iba lang This time is Yang baluster. Okay? Sa ating sa dito, sa ating corridor. Okay? So, starting with the baluster, that is 4 inches. Okay? So, that is along 6. Pagkapangin na natin. Along E. Next is along B. Tapos EB Tapos along 3 Next is Along 1 Along 1 And then last is Along 8 Okay Length 6 That one is 7 meters Next is E that is 4, 4, 5, 14, or sorry, 9, 13, ha? Next is D, that is 4 meters, kasi stairwell na yun, parang harangod yun po eh. So that is 4 meters. Next is along 3, 3 natin is 7 meters. Next is along 1, that is 14. And then last is along A, that is 4 meters, okay? Yeah. Next, height. Ano yung height niya? Usually, ang baluster nasa 1.2 meters. Standard. Ang baluster kasi, ang standard, according to the architects na nakakonsult ko, yung pwede mong mag-ganyan. Okay? Mm -hmm. Tapos, ano, pwede mong lagay yung kape mo habang kausap mo yung jowa mo. Kung may jowa ka. Okay? Pero kung wala, kape na lang. Then, drag that down. And then, after which area, copy na lang natin yung bumi yan, copy, Face, drag that down. Yan, tapos na. Meron ka ng load ng third floor. Okay? Okay lang. Lagyan natin ng uh, tag ito. Lagyan natin ng border. Ano po, Lord? Ay, tsaka magaling. Border. Border. Oh, Lord. Para ma-demarcate lang natin yung mga nagawa natin. Okay? And then last, kapihin lang natin ito. So, habas ang i-edit na lang natin is yung volume at saka pin. Okay? So, this becomes second floor. Okay? Yung volume natin, 0.35 by 0.35. Height niya is 2. Sa baba niya naman, it would be 0 0.4 by 0 0.4 tapos height niya is also 2. Next, beam along the numerical. Okay? Along the numerical, your beam would be 0 0.3 by 0 0.5. That is, along the numerical grid system, then drag that down, then along the alphabetical, you have 0 0.3 by 0 0.6. Then drag that down. Same, 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 same. Yeah. Okay? And then finally, last natin na gawin is dito pala tayo mag-alala. Which man?
Okay, so for your lollipop diagram, ground floor, my second floor, third floor, and then roof tank. Okay, equals. sum open parenthesis or sorry patagin na lang natin yan plus ito plus ito equals number kilo na ito okay next we are now to calculate for the base share okay pwede nang buhay ito You have your north south direction and your line is west. Very good. So, your north west direction natin would be the bending moment on this direction. Okay? And north south. Or north to south or south to north. Okay. Next is the propaganda of the direction of the bending moment, and you have east west. East west. Okay. So, for the for the bending moment, na de, basically the ah, tagi to the set of columns being subjected to tension or compression would be along this gauge system. Okay. Kapag pagganda naman yung bending moment natin, ang magre-resist naman nun is itong weight system na. Okay? So basically, what we want to place in our north-south direction would be at the uh, numerical grid system, and then to sa east-west natin would be ang pagganda ng grid system. Okay? Lugod na ako.
Kaya naman. Next is, we calculate for distance x and distance y. Ano naman yung distance x and distance y niya? Okay? So, we try to place your Cartesian coordinate system's origin at the extreme most bahala ka mong nalalagay. Pero ako nalagay ko dito. Okay? So, 0. Then, you have here x-axis. And then, you have here y-axis. Okay? y-axis, x-axis. Ngayon, ano yung x and yung y, okay? Si north-south, since ang mag-measure natin kay north-south is in the vertical direction, ang measurement natin is, ano the vertical? So that is basically distance y, okay? While southwest is basically measured horizontally. So what's yung distance? x, okay? Okay, so isa-isahin natin. Si 6, with respect to the origin, what is the distance? That is distance y. That is 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus this is 18 and 22. Yeah. Next, c5 minus 4 is 18. Next, c4 minus 4 is 14. Next, c3 minus 5 is 9. And then 2 is 4. And then distance of 1 is 0. Simple as that. Okay? Next naman, the distance x, that is basically 0. Next is 4, and then 4 plus 4 is 8. And then you have what? 14, and then you have 21. Okay? Nakuha, so far. Next, you have your k times this one. K times y and then k times n, k times x kx and k y. Okay? okay? That is equal to this one times this one and there. Then since you drag that down, sir, k times y. K times y. Equals this one times that one. Okay? And then, ito naman equals this one times this one. Okay? Kuha? Next, solve natin C bar x. Ano ba yung bar x? Sir, symbol, sum, open parenthesis, and ito muna tayo sa taas. Equal sa sum, open parenthesis, okay? Close parenthesis divided by the number of please keep quiet. Okay? And then the last one, that is equal to sa sum, open parenthesis, this one, divided by, close parenthesis divided by total number of columns. Ano yung nangyari? Ano ang tawag doon? There's nothing new there. Ang tawag dyan ay what? Letter B. Center 
of mass. Center of mass. No. Magdidid. Magdidid. Why? Kasi ang ginamit natin ng barik ng student are columns. Okay? Ngayon, ang pag ginamit natin ng barik ng student is yung mismo geometry ng building that is center of gravity. Okay? Area of floor. Okay? And then, getting the difference of center of rigidity and center of gravity, that is your eccentricity. Okay? That is how you develop your building. Okay? We'll cut it there. Put that one.